All right, guys, here we are at emulatorzone.com and we have selected Diffusion Emulator. The link to this website will be in the description below. Now down here in the download, you'll see Fusion 3.64. Let's go ahead and click on that. Your download should start in the bottom left. Once it's finished, click on it. And it's gonna give you a file folder. Click on that folder. And then click on Fusion. And then it's gonna give you the option to extract. So you wanna click on Extract All. Select the location you would like your files to be extracted to. I'm gonna extract mine to my desktop. So I'm gonna select desktop, select folder, extract. Now we can exit out of this, exit out, exit out. And here we are, we have our Fusion 3.64 emulator folder extracted to our desktop. Now let's open the folder and let's click on Fusion. This is our emulator. We can exit out of here. Now the first thing we can do is go up to video, window size, and let's change this to 1280 by 960. This will give us more screen to play with. Let's go back up to video, full screen resolution, and let's change this to 1920 by 1080. Now let's go up to options, and let's uncheck show FPS. This is an easy emulator to run. I don't think you need to see your FPS when playing games. So let's click on it. Now let's set up our controls. I will be using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. Just make sure you have a Bluetooth connection with your PC before opening Fusion and you should have no problems. Let's go up to options, set config. Down here you'll see master system slash game gear controllers. Port one, make sure it says control pad and under use, we're gonna change this to Bluetooth XI input. That's gonna be our Xbox One controller. And then you wanna hit define. And you'll see it says press button slash direction or keyboard key to use for up. So we have to hit our button on our Xbox One controller for up. Now it wants to know the down button, left, right, the one, the two, pause slash start. There we go, once you're finished, click apply and then okay now let's load up a game so let's go up to file load game gear ROM. now this emulator should detect wherever your game gear games are on your computer if they don't you can locate your games over here now i do have two games in here sonic chaos and tales avenger i'm gonna go ahead and load up sonic chaos so click on the game and click on open and the game should load up. Now, as always, I'm gonna play a little bit just to show you guys everything is working. All right, who do I wanna be, Sonic or Tails? Of course, I gotta go with Sonic. Let me hold my Xbox One controller up so you guys can see I'm using it. Everything seems to be running smooth. I just lost a ring. All my buttons are working. And we're good to go. Now, if you guys prefer to play full screen, what you wanna do is you wanna go up to video and go to full screen. And this way, you guys can play full screen. There we go.